Robotics offers the Max software platform. Max is the only general purpose robotic software platform for autonomous vehicles on the market today. It's just a large set of software building blocks that let you integrate a wide variety of sensors and actuators and controls and, and embed fairly sophisticated autonomous vehicle behaviors into a system rapidly and robustly. By and large, we are a software company focused on software, but we have a significant amount of hardware engineering resources to deal with the fact that we have different types of sensors and different types of operating environments and, and hardware platforms on which we're running, different types of cars, robots of all shapes and size. Max represents a set of software building blocks Consider it like Legos for building robotic vehicles and autonomous vehicles. You can assemble these different types of components that are generically designed for implementing robot behaviors and configure these behaviors without writing any code. The source of Max is Java-based. We're leveraging a different type of Java that most people aren't aware of and used to, and it's called real-time Java. And real-time Java is really different from standard Java. Real-time Java runs on a real-time operating system in a real-time environment so you can have determinism that you don't otherwise have. So there's a big difference between standard Java and real-time Java, and we run on both. One of the most compute-intensive aspects of autonomy that one deals with is processing massive amounts of LiDAR and camera data, perception. So we're really excited about the fact that we can offload them onto this Xilinx hardware platform that gives us just sort of this accelerated capability to process this massive amount of data. And also we're excited about the fact that Xilinx has some capability to also implement some low-level libraries that we may be able to tap into to further accelerate the kinds of perception algorithms that we're working with. For a long time we've been using the OpenCV libraries for machine vision and also machine learning particularly in autonomous drive applications like for lane detection. How do you detect straight edges in the lanes on the side of the road as well as for obstacle detection and avoidance. And we've been excited to dive into the Xilinx revision environment where some of the OpenCV libraries are there waiting for us basically on this hardware platform to integrate with and to leverage some of the, our existing algorithms and maybe take advantage of, sort of, of other new algorithms that are uh, going to be available in this environment, in this platform. So we're also very excited about Xilinx's move into the machine learning and artificial intelligence space to uh, offer some capability to do machine learning on that hardware platform and in that environment. That type of processing for um, artificial neural networks is very compute intensive and to have the capability to offload that into this uh, highly efficient uh, hardware platform offered by Xilinx is very exciting to us.